So uh, let's move into another Big 12 game. And SMU goes into TCU and gets a massive win, 42-34. to SMU ran for 350 yards in this game. And part of that was because the secondary was so worried about what was going on that, that they couldn't stop the run. They couldn't focus yeah. on that. Tanner Mordecai, 17 out of 28, 245 yards, had two touchdowns. He also had three interceptions in this game. Max Duggan for TCU, 16 out of 28, 276 yards, three touchdowns. He played pretty well. Mordecai, even with three interceptions, had the higher passer rating in this game. But Ulysses Bentley went for 153 yards on 20 carries. Trey Siggers, uh, 110 yards on 18 carries. Tyler Levine, 52 yards on eight carries. Tanner Mordecai. Four rushes for 37 yards. All of their guys averaged more than six yards a rush. I mean, just ridiculous. Like, this was... TCU has got a major defensive problem right here, and it is partly because of the fact that their secondary has so many holes in it. I don't know what to make... I I don't know that TCU is going to run into a lot of offenses that are better than what SMU brings. I was just about to say, it's weird that we're asking this, but in the Big 12, could this be the best offense they play all year? It's because they look a hell of a lot better than 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 Oklahoma, Texas, and yeah. Oklahoma State and Iowa State and Baylor and everybody else. Is there is there a an offensive coach in the Big Twelve that you trust more than Sonny Dykes? Well now that that answer is clearly no to me. But I this guy's been doing it for so look how look at his track record. Yeah. Uh Tyrone Davis jumped in. He said, uh, have you guys talked about Notre Dame yet? Yes, yeah, we already did. So yeah, you, you can go it. back and listen to that. Larry Pilgrim, TCU, Chris called it. Give me a stop. Uh, Brown Yeti, if he goes ten and two at Baylor, does uh, does Dave Aranda come back Stop. to LSU? Stop, Yeti! Don't be don't be that guy. <laughs> don't be that guy. Not this morning. Uh, Yeti said, "I've been on the Iowa State bandwagon for eight years now. I'm a little worried this ride's coming to an end." Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he, Matt Miller wanted to know if you had to bet your house today, who wins the Big Twelve? If I had to bet the house, I'd still go Oklahoma because I feel like their ceiling is still there. You know, but I, I that's that's just based on I don't think anybody uh. else is great. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not getting off the TCU game yet. They had not lost the conference game. Nope, they sure haven't. Zach Evans, by the way, 15 carries, 113 yards. He averaged 7.5 a clip, so he looked pretty so good. This game, yeah. this game changed immediately at the fumble at the beginning of the game. It so so I needed them to make a stop. All right. Not only do they not make a stop, they give SMU the ball at like the three yard line. It, it, that's the extra possession SMU need. I thought all I need is one team to get one extra possession. And this is ball game. As soon as SMU got that extra possession, I had a feeling. Well, that's that's the game because I don't see either of these teams really getting two unanswered scores just because the defense wasn't wasn't played at all yesterday. Yeah, it, it just looking at the overall team stats, uh, SMU had 595 yards of total offense. TCU had 446, but SMU had the ball for like 34 minutes in this game. Well, it's it, because they, they were, ran the ball, and TCU was trying to play catch up after that extra score. Yeah, no, 100, percent 100. percent That was uh, that was the problem. This TCU has got to get this defense figured out, man. They're, they're second. They are too talented to allow this to go on, even with somebody that that is offensively. As efficient as SMU. But hang on now. I, are, are they too talented? Because I, this is not a team full of four stars, Gary. I, I don't know that they are too talented to they, allow this to happen. They are I the, think they're exactly talented enough to allow this to happen. They are the third most talented team in the Big 12, and they are like a top 30, top 30 or top 35 team. Uh, SMU, as far as talent, is like, at what, in the 60s? Like yeah, they, they've got a ton more talent than than SMU, so they they shouldn't be allowing this to happen. Now I don't think it's going to happen again in the Big Twelve. I don't no. know of anybody that that has the weapons that SMU does. Yeah, but unless Oklahoma can fix their offense, that's the only team with the firepower, I believe, that can do that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.